Hey everybody, um, today I want to talk about a camp chair. Um, I've actually used this enough now that I can actually talk about it. Um, overall, it's not bad. A little hefty. Um, these aren't aluminum, they're not carbon fiber, they're steel poles, which I'm kind of glad of because being how small this is, it, um, it's scary. It's rated for 240 pounds. Overall, pretty easy to assemble. You just kind of let the bungees do their job. Um, the cover nice um, I think the big thing I like about it the best is that it's got vents on it get it going the right way here it is a little tough to get on I'll fight it a little bit but overall it's a pretty nice chair um, after the amount of time I've been using it, um, the venting, definitely love that. Um, it keeps the back from really sweating when you're sitting in the chair. Um, it's kind of low to the ground. Um, that's something that some people will like, some people won't. Um, the only issue I've seen is these legs here. I'm a, I'm a pretty good sized person. I'm 200 pounds, six foot tall. Um, when you sit in it, you actually start to feel your legs rubbing on this, or it rubbing on you, I should say, the legs rubbing on you. Um, I put a pad in here, a seat, uh, a pillow, basically a sit pad. Um, it's actually pretty comfortable then. Um, the only thing I, I'm scared to really lean back in it, um, it's just one of those things that you know, it is pretty comfortable when you actually relax, kick your legs out, and lay in it. Um, pack itself, so we got tags on here. Made for world famous sports um, in San Diego. Now, the product is made in China. But it is uh, overall a pretty good compact option for camping very easy to set up very easy to tear down um, the storage bag so far has been really good the zippers worked real well so overall not too bad um, and like I said I to put a kind of put a seat pad in there for me because like I say I weighed it down and then I'm, my legs are getting hit and I don't like that um, gets uncomfortable especially late at night and I tend to sit in it without leaning back um, just the way I sit most times and I got a little tripod stool for camping it works pretty good too but overall yeah a pretty nice chair um, tears down real easy well easier than it is to put together and you just hold up the top yeah. kind of fold it up roll it up and we'll shove it in the bag, but overall, yeah, you, you break the poles down. It does have a Velcro strap, which when you're tearing it down, you got to be careful of. If it gets in between the legs and stuff like that, it's hard to pull it back out. And if you let go of these legs, they, they tend to uh, go right back in place. So let's see if I can get this right here. Around over the Velcro. Actually, I think I got it together better this time than the last time. And yeah, right in the bag. Put the cover itself right in the bag. Um, zipper, like I say, works pretty good. The storage bag is pretty compact. Um, I, I haven't weighed this thing. Cause it's not really something I'd use for backpacking so I don't care about the weight but the fact that it's compact I could actually keep this in my truck um, did a video the other day took it with me sat in the ground it it sits on almost any kind of ground pretty well um, even though it is four legs not three but overall I like it um, 
Short video, I know, but thanks for watching and school.